Hello friends, today we will be working on a very special lens that I have here and then the lens itself is the Nikkor QC 135mm f4 and then this is a lens from 1949 it is actually my oldest Nikon lens and then one of the very particular things about this lens is that it is not written made in Japan but rather made made in occupied Japan this lens as far as I understand is from 1949 it is rare because apparently there is only two series of this lens and then according to the serial number this lens is part of the first series and then there is only 900 lenses in existence this is at least what I was able to gather from talking to a few knowledgeable people about nickel lenses and then if you have further information about this lens I will be very glad to hear it in the comments so don't hesitate to leave me a comment to tell me more information about this lens I bought this lens on a camera market I didn't pay a lot and then as you can see the lens has quite some haze we are trying to clean that today and then the other thing is that the focusing is a bit stiff we'll be taking care of that in another video so what we're going to do as I just mentioned before, we'll try to clean that haze and then apparently this lens is very valuable so if I manage to remove the haze I'll get, I guess its value is going to raise so let's go with it so we have here the aperture ring in the front, that's rather uncommon for a Nikon lens and then there is two screws so we're going to remove the first one then the second one and then with this ring gun I can yeah I can take it out and then if I lie the lens on the side you will have something like this and then I discover that you can simply just unscrew this and then with that you are able to separate the lens in two parts So we have the body here, so the helical part here, which is a bit hard, we're going to fix that, a spacer, then this part which is a cover, and then here we get the optical block, with this black part moving the diaphragm. So this looks very much like a German diaphragm and then as far as I understood this lens is very close to the size 135mm f4 which, what, which was made about the same time. Ok, so, so far so good. Now I want to access this part here and then I think okay, I will need to remove just one set screw just there and I just raise it and then not lose it because that would be a real pity ok there is one thing which is coming out ok the 
towards the front so we see the diaphragm there and then we get the confirmation this is the kind of construction German diaphragms have so very very interesting some part of glass here and then here I think this is the big chunk of glass so a rather similar design to the 105 2.5 with a big second element and then here if I keep going further I will reach the element that has the haze and then the from glass which is here so just let us put the front in here okay, just trying to figure if it is something useful so I guess yes because I want to hold it somehow so I'm using the base and then here you go okay, let me open this maybe and then this is all that haze that we want to remove and then let's do the stupid test and then I come and then I push with my finger and then this kind of haze or grit seems to go away this is extremely good news okay this is very cool it seems to go away so what i'm going to do is to get my clean stuff so i have my lens clean box and then I take my lens cleaning solution that you can find on the video description and then I have other items I will use for cleaning particularly my two microfiber cloths that I use for the different stage of cleaning that grid it's getting away whatever that was okay, just let me use my older dirty microfiber cloth because this thing looks like thick so maybe it's like old glue or something like that so you can see the progression along with me and then here you go glass is in actually better condition than I could have ever imagined so this is great news I will be able to play with 
this monster of a lens. And then when I got it, I did some trials and then the results look actually fantastic. Very, very, very vintage. Just let me keep the game in place. We'll do the cleaning. Then we reassemble this right now. Okay, and then I will proceed to reassemble this guy right now. That, as you can see, it is extremely simple to work on. So, the guys in 1949 did a really smart design that can work on without any fuss. I'm actually really proud of having it. And then the funny thing is when I got this lens on a flea market, it was in worse condition that I just show you here and then what you just fix. Because initially it was really really dirty and then I got it on this camera market and then I started cleaning it and then some guy who was just around he went totally crazy he, he wanted he asked me to take a look so I showed to him then he went away and then like two days after someone calls me on my phone and then the guy actually managed to get my phone through the camera event organizer and then he absolutely wanted to buy the lens from me he proposed me twice the money I paid I refused I told him like hey listen I want to keep it and then I will fix it and he told me no no don't fix don't fix it I will buy it I will buy I will pay you five times the money you paid for it and then okay that told me that probably this lens was very valuable because the lens was in rather poor condition when he saw it and then for some reason he wanted to put like a crazy amount of money for it so I started digging around for information about it and then I learned that this lens, this particular copy was one of something like 900 copies so we have cleaned the glass now we proceed to the reassembly and then I was taking a look at this part and then I saw there is a, a small set screw I got it a bit loose and then I noticed that we can actually screw this guy so now we put the set screw in brass washer and then we come and then we attach all the optics to the body oh, it goes super smooth then now the last thing we have to do is to put the aperture ring So there is a mark here, so that will be our cue for the numbers. And then, so we put and then the other screw. the front and then the lens looks just beautiful right now you see all that haze is gone and then I think we can go and then make beautiful photography with it I will bore it a bit later 
about the SD focusing because it is still work and then I will be showing that to you on another video and then this is all I want to share today thanks for watching and see you next time